Hey there, I'm Shauna, and this is episode three of Yoga Snacks, uh, nourishment for your mind and body. Um, so we're gonna start sitting in a chair once again. Um, you could be sitting in a couch, and some of you may like to be sitting on the floor, and you're always welcome to do that too. If you're sitting on the chair or something like a chair, sit forward a little bit so that your knees line up with your ankles and you're able to put your feet pointing straight ahead. Also, if you're resting into the upper back of the chair, that's okay, but if you could sit forward, um, that would also be great so that we can start to practice um, sitting upright and building some muscles in our core and our back, just sitting, okay. And then let's start with a great big inhale. So deep inhale, and then exhale out the mouth. And let's do that again. Deep inhale, sigh out the mouth. And this next time, inhale, tighten everything, squeeze everything, and then exhale. And then actually one more. Inhaling, holding, tightening everything. Ah, excellent. Okay, I think we're ready to start. Um, so we're going to work with the arms and shoulders a little bit to start. Bring your hands onto your shoulders and just make some slow circles. As you do, sometimes if you're quiet, you can hear some pretty sounds that are coming from your shoulder joint. Snap, crackle, pop. Uh, and just feel what it's like today in the shoulders. A couple circles backwards, together, apart. Okay. And then let's put the hands down onto the lap and focus on just one arm. So I'm going to start with my right arm. Let your right arm relax. Let it feel kind of heavy, like it's hanging. You can even notice if you just relax and let your arm just hang. Sometimes it just swings like a pendulum. And don't try to control that or stop that. Just allow your arm to swing. Okay. And then we're going to start to also notice our breath. And as you breathe in, do nothing. And as you breathe out, Lift your arm up. And we'll repeat that a few times. Inhale, let the arm come down. And exhale, bring the arm up to shoulder height. And two or three more of those. Inhaling down, exhaling up to shoulder height or as high as you can go. Okay, on this next one, as the arm comes up, keep the arm up. Lengthen out through your fingertips, palm parallel to the floor. And then as you inhale, turn your arm slowly to face the ceiling. And just feel what that's like. Such a simple movement, but sometimes um, very sensationally. Feel a lot. And then from here, inhale and do nothing, exhale, arm comes up. Inhale, arm down to shoulder height. Exhale, arm comes up. And you can repeat this one at your own pace a couple more times. Inhaling down to shoulder height, exhaling up. Inhale down and exhale up. And the next time that the arm is up, keep the arm up, lengthen up through your fingertips, maybe even wiggle the fingers. Sometimes I call this twinkling the fingers. Oh, yeah. And then keeping your left hand on your um, thigh or your hip or your chair, start to side bend to your left. From here, the right arm can stay straight or what happens if you bend your right elbow and bring your hand to your hip? Feel what that's like. Look up. If that's painful for you, back off. Keep the arm up or even stay straight. But if it feels OK, stay. Take a few breaths. 
and then inhale all the way back up. Exhale the hand down onto the lap and just pause. Okay, we're going to try this on the other side. So often when we do movements in exercise and even in yoga that we move on the inhale, um, but today you might notice that we're moving on the exhale. And the reason we're doing that is the exhale is the breath that's relaxing. So we're purposely moving on a relaxing breath and doing something easy on the stimulating breath. So let's try it again. Inhale, do nothing. Let the arm hang. And actually, let's just let this left arm hang. And maybe it swings. Maybe it doesn't. Okay, and then inhaling, and as you exhale, left arm coming up to shoulder height. Inhale, left arm coming down. Exhale, left arm coming up to shoulder height. Inhale, coming down. Exhale, left arm coming up to shoulder height. Inhale, down. This next time, you're keeping the arm up. So exhale, arm up to shoulder height, lengthening out through the fingertips a little. Feel what it's like. So again, seems like a relatively simple movement, but sometimes pretty significant. You feel lots of sensation. Body has lots to say. Inhale, roll this left arm so the palm faces the ceiling. Feel what that's like. Pause. And then as you exhale, left arm comes up. Inhale, left arm goes down. Exhale, left arm goes up. Inhale, left arm goes down. I think one more. I'm not very good at counting. Exhale, left arm comes up. Keep the left arm up. And again, right hand can be on the thigh or hold the chair. If it feels appropriate, you're going to side bend a little bit to the right and bend the left elbow. Put the left hand onto the hand, maybe even looking up. A little smile is always welcome. Notice what you feel. Also, sometimes you notice that you might want to drool. I don't know. It's okay, especially if you're home alone. Inhale, come up. Exhale, hand comes down, just rest and feel. Okay, so we're going to try another exercise. And this one uh, is great if you have something like a scarf or a belt. In yoga, we usually use a belt, a tie, a bathrobe tie. Um, if you don't have anything, you can do without, but I'm going to show you with a scarf. You put the, we're going to put that on our left shoulder. And then um, inhale, take the left arm straight up. Exhale, bend the left elbow. And then we're going to take the right hand and, if it's possible, hold this left elbow up. And using your hand, lift the elbow, open through the armpit. Sometimes when you do that, you get a nice deep breath. Take the nice deep breath. Keep your elbow up, and with your other hand, you're going to bring your other hand around behind you and tuck it up your back. And this is where the belt or the scarf or whatever it is comes in handy. You can hold the two parts. If you don't have that, you can hold your shirt or just have your hands rested against your back. All are welcome. And then stay. And feel what this is like in your breathing. If the sensations are very strong, take the hands a little further away. You can even let your left elbow go to the side a little bit. If the sensations aren't that strong, then you can bring your elbow closer to your head, lift the elbow higher towards the ceiling, even walk your hands towards one another. Okay, and then let go of the belt or whatever it is, left hand onto the outside of the right leg, and now I've got my right arm wrapped around my back. So this is why we need to sit a little forward in the chair so that you've got the room to twist. You can also put the back hand onto the seat and turn. Opening through your shoulders and feeling your breathing. And 
and then as you inhale, come out of the twist. Rest for a moment. Okay, so that belt goes on the other shoulder. Rest your hands. This time it's going to be the right arm that reaches up, lengthening as you exhale, bend the right elbow. And if you like, take your left hand, help your right elbow lift, opening into the shoulder joint, into the armpit area, and just breathe. Again, keeping this elbow up, the other arm sweeps down, tucks behind, can stay down and looks for the belt, or sometimes the two hands can walk towards one another. So remember, not forcing anything. A tiny bit of sensation is welcome, but we're not looking to push through pain. Just respecting your body befriending your body. Nice. And then release. And when you release, twisting to the left. Right hand to the outside of the left leg, left hand on the back, or left hand on the chair, twisting. Inhale and untwist. Rest your hands onto your lap for a moment. Just feel. <sighs> okay, let's do two more things in the chair, I think. So you just sit again a little bit forward, just so you've got some space between you and the back of the chair, but not so forward that you're going to fall off. Rest onto your left forearm and reach your right hand back. And so depending on your chair, you can hold the upper back of the chair. If that's not appropriate for you, place your right hand onto your sacrum or your hip and begin to turn. So there's a balance between bending forward and twisting. And as you do this, feel your breathing. Feel what the body has to say. And inhale and untwist. Rest for a moment. Okay, let's do that on the other side. So come forward, right forearm onto the legs, left hand on the sacrum or the hip here, or reaching back to hold the back of your chair. Either is great. Just make sure your feet are well planted and your sitting bones, your hips are on the chair, twisting somewhat to your left. Notice what's happening in your head, both physically and in the thinking part of your head. Line your head up with your spine. Let your attention turn to your breathing and your body. And then with an inhale, come up and out. Okay. And we'll finish our chair series with a forward bend. So take your feet a little bit wider apart. Make sure you're sitting comfortably on the chair. You can sit as far back as you like. And start to release forward. For some people, resting on the elbows is going to be good. Let the head drop. Allow the back body to open. If you feel pretty comfortable here, you don't have any dizziness, taking your head forward, go all the way down. Let the head drop. Let the body rest onto the legs. Fabulous. And then bring your hands up onto your legs, look forward, and use your inhale to help you come up. Sit for a moment. And then stand up. And when you stand up, shake everything out. Arms, legs, hair, hips. Okay, feet. 
Okay, so we're going to do a couple of standing poses. And for these standing poses, you, you're going to, well, let's start with Tadasana. So first standing pose, mountain pose. Um, check that your feet are pointing straight ahead. Toes are spread. Weight's balanced on the two feet. Bring your shoulders, mm, bring your hips over your heels and your shoulders over your hips. Press up through the top of the head. Find your breathing. And then this time, uh, as you inhale, sweep your arms up and reach up with your hands. Lengthen up through your fingertips. It's okay to have the hands a little bit wide apart. Lengthening, hands are a little bit active and feet actively press into the ground. Feel yourself standing here. Feel your own strength and your own balance. As you exhale, bring your right hand onto your hip. You can stay exactly like this, or if it feels OK in your body, then bring a side bend in. Press strongly into your feet. Reach through your left arm and possibly start to look up to the left. Inhale, come all the way up. Stand tall like a mountain, strong and stable. Then we're going to go to the other side. So left hand on hip. This is a great place to stay exactly like this. Or as you exhale, start to open and lean to the left. Weight steady on the two feet. Then inhale, coming up. Opening the arms wide. I'm going to change this sequence a little bit if you did this another time with us. We're going to bend the knees. This pose is called Utkatasana or awkward pose. If it's a little bit too stimulating to have the arms up, you can have them out in front or at your heart and stay. Just like you're about to sit back into a chair, but it's not going to happen. And then from here, straightening your legs. And the hands are all ready to the heart. And if not, bring them there. Fabulous. OK. So this next one, we're going to take the feet. We're going to turn the right leg out and step the right foot a couple of inches away from the left foot. And just stand and feel your balance. So this is a, this is a pose we call tiny warrior. And so it's a variation of a um, very popular yoga pose called warrior. Just going to have this narrow step and bend your right knee a little bit. Feel the legs. Let the arms drop. And remember how earlier we moved with the exhale? We're going to do that again. So as you exhale, let your arms float up. Strongly standing, weight into the two feet. Turn your gaze to look over your front fingertips. And feel your own inner warrior. Let it radiate from your heart. Then inhale. Let the arms come down. Step your two feet together. Stand. Feel your breath and your heartbeat. And again, keeping that the feet pretty close together, you're turning your left foot out. You're standing strong onto both feet. Bend the left knee a little bit. Stand tall. So there's still an element of the mountain pose. And as you exhale, let your arms float up. And if it feels OK, turn your head, look to the left. Let your inner warrior radiate out. Feel your breath. Feel the body. And then inhale. Arms come down. Step back to center. Mountain pose. OK, so for some people, Keeping exactly that step is going to be just right. So you can repeat that. Or you can take your feet a little bit wider. So today we're using carpet. Uh, I think I'm going to bring a yoga mat for next time because it's great. Uh, keeps the feet from slipping. But you don't need a yoga mat. It's just a little bit 
nice to have something that's a little bit stickier. So I've stepped my feet a little wider apart. You can take them as wide or as narrow as you like. And then keeping the weight firm into the feet, let's just find a kind of wide-footed mountain. And then turn the right foot out 90 degrees, so it turns all the way out. Stand. As you exhale, bend your right knee and feel what that's like. Right knee lining up over right ankle. Feel yourself steady and strong like a mountain. Wait for the exhale. As you exhale, let the arms float up. Nice. Maybe lengthen through the fingertips, and if it feels OK, look to your right. Inhale the arms down. Turn the feet to face forward. Stand in the center. Just feel your own strength and balance. Then let's turn the left foot out. Keep the balance onto the two feet. Exhale, bend the left knee. Feel how when your knee is bent, there's a sense of groundedness, of strength. Wait for an exhale. Let your arms float up. Feel safe to do so. Turn your head to look to the left. Let your warrior radiate out. And then straightening the leg, turning the feet to face forward, and step your feet together. Standing for a few breaths. Maybe you feel your breath. Maybe you feel your heartbeat. Okay. Let's take the chair. Put the chair so that it's um, in a spot where you can feels balanced and then put with your hands on the seat of the chair, chair feeling steady, walk your feet back and have your hips either directly over your heels or your feet a little further back so that you can stretch open through the arms. Let the sides of the body open, breathe and feel. And then as you inhale, look up and step one, let's step the right foot forward and turn your left foot out a little bit. So we did this in previous weeks. Some of you will be familiar. Lift up a little bit. And as you exhale, start to go forward. And as you go forward, you can walk your hands forward, rest the hands towards the back of the chair, if that makes sense, or stay up if it doesn't. and bring the hands back in. This time, let's step forward. Plant your left foot securely and step your right foot back and turn it out a little bit. Lift your head and look at the chair, maybe smile at the chair. And then as you exhale, start to release forward, walking your hands towards the back edge of the chair. And then walking the hands towards the front, look up, stand up, and inhale all the way up to standing. Okay, so we're getting ready to wind down and finish our practice. In, as we do, we're going to lie down. If you're somebody who lying down uh, causes dizziness or doesn't work for you, you can always do this next part sitting in a chair and just modify along with us. I'm going to lie down. I'm going to take, I brought a towel. So I've got something like a pillow for my head, a folded towel. And then lie down. And I've got my strap again, my, or it's actually a scarf. Ah, so lying down. I feel like Shavasana, the resting pose is very close. And that's always good news. Bring my right leg in and just hug around my right knee for a few breaths. Okay. 
And then I'm taking the scarf and I'm putting it around the arch of my foot, stretching the leg up. So if you don't have this, maybe you can hold the back of the leg or you could even have your leg up without a scarf. It's a little lot more work though. With your hands holding the, the scarf or the belt, let your shoulders relax to the floor. Keep your left knee bent. As you exhale, you could straighten the left leg if that feels okay. Then bend your left knee. Release your right foot. Just rest with the knees bent. Hug your left knee and briefly hold the shin or the back of the thigh. Belt around the foot, straightening the leg, staying here for just a few breaths. So a nice stretch to release your back if there was any pain from some of the other stretches we did. Good stretch for your legs. For the last breath or two, straighten the right leg if you like. And bend your knee, release your foot. Take the arms out to the side, palms face up. Straighten your legs, relax the feet. Relax the whole body and let the body rest here in Shavasana. It's resting pose at the end of the practice. If you have the opportunity, you can stay in this pose. You can just let the TV end or just take a moment to turn off the TV or the video or whatever you're doing. And you could stay in this pose five minutes, 10 minutes, maybe even 20. There's no right or wrong length of time for Shavasana. In fact, the more Shavasana, the better. Um, but we're going to close the show now. So I just want to say thank you. And namaste. Thank you for joining me. Have a wonderful day.